Hello everybody, my name is Sarix and I'll be your narrator for today. We will be taking a look at level 3999 of the backrooms, also known as the true ending. Survival difficulty, class zero, safe, secure, devoid of entities. Level 3999 is the 4000th level of the backrooms. This level serves as one of the few exits from the back rooms back into reality, also known as the front rooms. And it is well known for that reason alone. Description Level 3999 is a seemingly infinite arcade. The appearance and layout resembling most arcades present in the front rooms eating areas, arcade areas, etc. However, the arcade machines contain games that require high-performance PCs or Nintendo devices to play, including Call of Duty, Minecraft, Metopia, Terraria, Mario Kart 8, Fortnite, and World of Warcraft, among others. Sounds pretty fun. Like a typical arcade, the outside area represents a parking lot, cars, streetlights, and trees that can be seen through the windows. However, the window's strength makes it impossible to enter that area. The arcade machines are durable and enact relaxing effects on wanderers who play them. To play a game, simply insert a coin. Surprisingly, the machines can take any currency. As wanderers become invested in the game, any sanity loss is migrated is mintigrated and the wanderer should feel normal within a few minutes. However, attempting to damage the machine whenever in a fit or rage or out of curiosity will instantly cause the wanderer to faint on the spot. There is likely no lasting brain damage. Regarding, it is not recommended hitting, punching, or swinging at the machines. Level 3999's most famous level is one of the most famous levels due to the familiar feeling of security, safety, and comfort. At the same time, the scarcity of other humans in this level may provoke feelings of anxiety or loneliness. Occasionally, meteorites may rain down from the ceiling with no known patterns. However, they do not appear to damage the level or any wanderers, so researchers have high hypothesize that they are simply illusions created by the light structure. Colonies and Outposts Backrooms Colonists The Backrooms Colonists have an outpost that is around a 27 minute walk from the beginning point directly south and at a base. Are a few cafes for people to relax and an area where you can trade. Cafe Studio 52-1 the cafe studio has an outpost in the level, which is a big dining room with infinite food, almond water, neon water, and more. They have music to chill with and also has a giant pool with relaxing water. The waiters. The waiters have a colony which trains you to how the arcade games work. And if you Request them to join the colony, they will say, you need to get our job first. If you ask them for food and water, they will give you the things you asked for. Front Rooms Organization, this as the name implies, isn't a colony or outpost, but more, but most likely to be an organization. They, If you give permission to join them, they will say yes. They also lead helpless travelers to the glass doors. Entrances and exits. Entrances, usual methods. Running truend.exe in the end's computer will take you here. Proceeding through a gaming arcade in a village in level 1207 leads to this level. Heading through door one and level 561 leads to this level. Going forward into a subway and level 1,275 leads to this level. Luck-based methods. There is a tiny chance of no clipping and level 3,999.1 teleports you to this level. 
there's a high chance exiting level 3998 teleports you to this level. Exits. Arcade machine ways. Playing Spore or Stellaris on any device for more than 30 minutes will lead you to level 949. Using a crossbow on any device and finishing a single scenario will lead you to level 2133. Playing Donkey Kong on any device for more than 15 minutes will lead you to level 37. Playing an out of order machine labeled Cornfield will cause you to be teleported to level 2525. Usable ways. Attempting to break the glass door, not completing the objectives within 10 years or going through it with a bad life, will teleport you to level 3999.9. No clipping into yourself in this level will lead to level entry. No clipping into most objects will lead to level 561. No clipping into the windows next to the glass door will allow you to enter the front rooms without finishing your list. By walking out the glass door in level 3999 will bring you to level will bring you into the front rooms. No clipping into the floor will send you to level negative 740. Do not attempt. <laughs>